When writing PHP and MySQL websites, what we want to do is ensure that we have our own local web system. In the courses, we normally prefer XAMPP because it has Apache, Maria, which is the MySQL, Apache is our web server, and the PHP service. From here, we go to the apachefriends.org website, select download for your operating system. Once it is downloaded, you will have the installer here. When you double click it, from here, we just click OK. Then we go next, next, keep it as the default, next, next, next. And now we wait for it to finish to install. Once the installer has finished installing, you'll be presented with this final screen. Untick the start control panel, click on finish. Now from here, we're gonna deal with the UAC issue. So there's the user account access. So inside local disk, Go into the XAMPP folder, scroll to the bottom, find the XAMPP control configuration file. If you have extensions on, this is a .ini file. Right click, go into properties. Then select the security tab. Notice here how we have everyone and it just has read. We want to click on edit and then we want to give that full control and then click on OK. Once this is done, Click on OK again. Now from here, this is the folder structure of XAMPP. All of our websites go into the htdocs folder. When we first start, it has a default view that we can look at. So we'll have a quick look at that. We double click XAMPP, Control. This will then open a pop-up. Now from here, we want to start Apache and MySQL. So, because we've changed the permissions on the control file, we can go into config, we can tick Apache MySQL here, click on save and quit. Once it's closed down, we can double click again and it will automatically start Apache and MySQL. This occurs sometimes when it does, just come in, re-hit start and see what happens. And away we go. Now we have a system to view our website. In our browser, we need to go to localhost. As you can see, this is now the default page for localhost. When we're working on it, we go into htdocs. We can delete all of that. Then go back into localhost. And as you can see here, this is now an, an empty page. So let's go one more time back into our HT docs. We right click, go into here, open with code. And here, when we're dealing with PHP, always make PHP files. So let's go to index.php. And just quickly, we put PHP like that and like that. We always encapsulate our PHP with these tags. We can put in the command P php info and close it with a semicolon so now if we save it minimize it we have to always hit the refresh button to see our changes you'll be told all about the system that we have up and running to close the system down go back into the control panel click stop and stop and then quit